The Honourable Member for Calgary Mountain View, followed by Edmonton Calder. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, seniors' care in Alberta is bad, and it's getting worse. The conclusions of an independent University of Alberta report today. Reduced RNs, rushed care, neglect are now common, and worse than the for-profit settings. Overstressed staff put seniors at risk, and when problems happen, the safest thing, of course, is to call EMS, adding to overcrowded ERs and compounding problems in our system. To the Minister, when will you face up to these penny-wise, pound-foolish decisions? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, the Honourable the Premier, in answer to previous questions, talked about how Alberta is leading in adding senior services across the province, both for those living in the community and those who are living in facilities. Mr. Speaker, I will say, uh, with respect to the Honourable Member's co uh, comments, that we are aware that the system is, is complex to navigate for many people, not only for individuals themselves seeking placement, but for family members who are trying to assist a mother or father or other relative. And as I said before, Mr. Speaker, we're looking at that question, but we stand by the fact that Albertans want choice, we're delivering choice, and we'll continue to deliver those options. Honourable Member. We're not talking about complexity, Mr. Minister. We're not talking about complexity. We're talking about quality. Can you be surprised that EMS is overstretched? EMS response time to life-threatening events continue to be unacceptable 50 percent of the time, even to the EMS workers themselves. I think what the Honourable Member is talking about is ideology, and I think the problem with this discussion the problem with this discussion is that the foundation of this health care system is focused on quality standards that apply to all providers, not for profit, private, and public providers, Mr. Speaker. So we will continue to offer choice within uh, the system. We will continue to do things like add 33 percent more funding over a three year period for home care, and we'll continue to meet the challenges of being the fastest growing province in the country, Mr. Speaker, with 100,000 people coming here each year. Honourable Member. Well, Mr. Speaker, the domino effect, according to Workers' Compensation Board, is that paramedics are injured four times the rate of other health workers, and over the last 12 months, the rate of days lost doubled to EMS workers. What can you say about that? Honourable Minister. So, Mr. Speaker, if the Honourable Member is now switching the topic to uh, emergency medical services and specifically paramedics, uh, I can tell him that we have the benefit of, uh, of uh, a member in our caucus who, in fact, is a paramedic. Uh, who has been of a great assistance to me and to my colleagues in understanding the issues, again, that paramedics face in a system that has growing demands owing to population growth and aging and other issues. Mr. Speaker, we work closely with, uh, with both uh, uh, individual paramedics. The head uh, of uh, EMS uh, at Alberta Health Services is himself uh, a paramedic, and we have close links to the Health Sciences Association of Alberta. Mr. Speaker, we'll continue to support paramedics in our health system.